uh, I got a question from a young lady in Fort Myers who is renting out a small condo, but or they want to rent out a small condo, but they were approached by somebody who has filed bankruptcy. Filed. The bankruptcy has already been filed. So we're going to talk about that. And they're worried about you know, divorce and a bankruptcy and whether or not this person's a good candidate to rent to. In other words, they're afraid to get sucked into the bankruptcy process. FYI for anybody, bankruptcy is this big taboo word. It's not that bad. What happens is when a person files bankruptcy, they're required to list all their creditors. If I file bankruptcy today and I wanted to go rent from this young lady tomorrow, she cannot be included in this bankruptcy because it's what's considered post-filing debt. In other words, I'm entering into a contract after I file bankruptcy. That doesn't make it retroactive to go back in. Car dealers do this a lot. They, oh my gosh, somebody filed bankruptcy. Well, we need some kind of protection saying that I can't be included in the bankruptcy. Well, if the person's already filed, you're not going to be included in the bankruptcy. That's impossible. I can't go back and add post-petition creditors unless it's a, in a Chapter 13, you're allowed to add post-petition creditors if the creditor consents. So let's say, for example, I have an IRS debt that I want to pay, and the IRS says, yeah, put me in the plan, pay me. I have no problem with that. I want my client to pay this debt. We get their permission. We add them into the bankruptcy. It doesn't happen very often. In this case, I want to go rent, and this young lady's concerned that she's going to get sucked into the bankruptcy. It's not going to happen. I have to pay my monthly rent pursuant to that new contract, and if I don't, she can evict me. I don't see how the divorce fits into this. I mean, if I was getting divorced and bankruptcy at the same time, I call that the total happiness package. Just kidding. Uh, anyway, long story behind that. But uh, no, seriously, if you have a divorce and a bankruptcy at the same time, unfortunately, the two kind of go in hand in hand when one person has to, you know, vacates a marriage and then they go ahead and they really can't afford to live on their own or live the same lifestyle and there's a lot of debt. I mean, let's face it, everybody who's in Southwest Florida's got may have a lot of debt, or at least the majority of people watching our show, hopefully you're watching because you have debt or because you want to learn how to help yourself with your debt. But the reality is we see it a lot in our office, and I don't want that person on the outside who says, you know, these people are taboo. No, they're not. Actually, I would rather rent to somebody who's gotten rid of their debts, and it, you know, if they're divorced, it doesn't really matter to me. But if they've gotten rid of their debts or they're working on their debt problem by filing bankruptcy, that's a good thing. So in other words, I think it's okay to uh, rent to this person. You're not going to be sucked into the bankruptcy. So hopefully that answers your question.